Hey, this is Luis Valdez, Florida State Director for Gun Owners of America here in Clearwater, Florida, and I have a spectacular guest for you today. I have Miss Anna Luna, who is running for Congress, but you know, I'm not going to tell you about her. She's going to tell you about herself. So Anna, take it away. Thank you. My name is Anna Paulina Luna. I'm a United States Air Force veteran and the Trump endorsed candidate as well as GOA endorsed candidate for Florida 13. I'm pro-life, pro-God, pro-gun, and anti-globalist. So Anna, where do you stand on the Second Amendment? Where do you stand on constitutional carry, red flag laws, gun free zones? You know, tell us a little about that. People are interested. They're curious. I take shall not be infringed literally. I'm against red flag laws. I'm against gun free zones. And I think that constitutional carry is a necessity for the state of Florida. If there are Republican legislators that are voting against it, they need to not be reelected. So just so folks know, what exactly is constitutional carry? It means that you don't have to have permission from government or local officials to whether to open or conceal carry. That's fantastic. As for red flag laws, what are the issues you see with it? I think the problem that we're currently having is that it removes due process. You can have, for example, maybe a neighbor that's mad at you or a family member that's mad at you. If you're a veteran, let's say that's diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, they call that in, you lose your right to due process and that's not okay. And of course, the biggest issue is, is that the real threat is still left out on the streets and the fact that all you do is disarm them from a firearm when we've seen they could use vehicles, they could use a gallon of gasoline books of a book of matches to do a horrific killing so it really doesn't remove the threat from society it just strips someone of their due process so their fourth and fifth amendment rights along with their second amendment rights exactly. yeah, especially if it's a false claim people are going to do bad things if they want to they're going to find a way to do it uh, the problem that we're seeing right now with gun control is it removes legal law-abiding gun owners from being able to protect themselves the fact is is that society itself has a systemic problem with bad people currently you know, giving an excuse, getting it a pass because of woke culture. And so I'm absolutely against that. And you yourself, you actually have a bit of history with so-called gun violence, right? Yeah, and you would actually think that because of my story that I might be for some of these leg bad legislation that these uh, politicos are trying to pass right now with gun control, and I'm not. I experienced an armed robbery, a home invasion, and there was a gang shooting on my high school campus, of which I never thought it was the gun that was a problem. I always realized, having gone through those experiences, that was a people problem. And so I talk about my story because I want people to know I'm not just talking about this because I read it off the internet or it's a data voting point. I'm talking about it from personal experience. And I actually, to this day, have my concealed carry in the state of Florida because I always want to make sure that I can defend myself and my loved ones. So last issue, AR-15s, hot topic. We all know that they're completely illegal. We all know that they're completely safe, but you have a radical fringe authoritarian group within our society that wants to really restrict us on our rights. What do you think on the AR-15? What do you think of, of people owning something like this? I have two personally. I can tell you that I put it on the table and it doesn't hurt anyone. And so the fact is, is that they call these firearms weapons of war. They're not. It's frankly no different than me being able to, frank, if I had a crossbow, for example, and wanted to use that to defend myself. It's a tool that we use. And frankly, I think anything that limits this platform and my ability to use it or someone else's ability to use it to defend themselves, that's wrong. Well, I can tell you this, folks. As Florida State Director for Gun Owners of America, I am proud to endorse Anna Luna for Congress. Thank you. So you're running for District 13? Yes, it includes predominantly Pinellas County all the way up to Tarpon Springs, and it is an open red seat. So I hope to have your vote. So folks, remember, the only way that you could win is you need to get involved. That means you need to be voting come August 23rd. That's the primary election season. You need to vote. I want to see you at the ballot boxes voting for Anna. So again, Luis Valdez, State Director, GOA. Thank you for, for being here, Anna. And we're out, folks. Thank you.